Hello guys, today we are making a king of chocolate cake, opera cake. As a prep, set parchment papers on trays and prepare all the ingredients ahead so that we can move smoothly after this. I often like to sift all purpose flour ahead, but you can also do it right before you use. To make whole egg mixture, first sift powdered sugar and almond flour in the bowl and add whole eggs mix until it looks even now warm it up with a water bath until it feels comfortably warm by doing this the eggs get whipped up a lot more in shorter time and once it's done remove from the heat and place a bowl of butter in the water bath to melt it and quickly stop whipping it while it's warm continue whipping until it looks very pale like this that means it contains a lot of airs touch the bowl and when it doesn't feel cold or warm and it's at room temperature you can stop now we are making meringue so if you can, you can whip the whole egg mixture and egg white all at the same time using two machines, but when you don't have the option, whip from the whole egg mixture. That is because meringue is much more unstable and starts separating very quickly once you leave it. Even if you leave up the separated meringue, it's not quite the same. Continue whipping until it looks fluffy, but not too stiff like this. Now pour all the whole egg mixture into the meringue and continue folding until about 75% is blended. And add all purpose flour and continue folding until you don't see any more flowers. Now, the butter should be still warm at this point. Add one big scoop to it and mix. That way, butter can blend a little bit easier. Continue folding until the butter is blended evenly. and pour into trays and spread evenly. One batch of the recipe is for two half size sheet pans, but you can also use one full sheet pan or four quarter sheet pans instead. When you use two lacs in the oven, switch the spot toward the end to bake them evenly. I like to make the sponge berry thin for opera cake since the thin layers create more delicate texture. So don't worry even if it might look super thin. Now to make the delicious coffee syrup, heat up water and sugar in a pan. Once it started simmering, stop the heat and add milk coffee. Roughly mix and place a lid on top to let it steam for about 10 to 15 minutes.
and we add very very generous amount of cognac this is a lot of amount for sure but surprisingly it works so well I try it with other alcohols as well, but for opera cake specifically, conic is absolutely the best in my opinion. To make mocha buttercream, first heat milk. Once it started simmering, stop the heat and add milk coffee. Place a lid and let it steam for 10 to 15 minutes, just like earlier. Meanwhile, in the bowl, mix egg yolks and sugar until it looks pale a little bit. Strain and add the coffee liquid. and pour it back to a pan and continue heating with low heat until it starts getting thickened a bit. Cook very gently, especially toward the end so that you are not cooking the yolks rapidly and make scrambled eggs. So this is actually the same method as ungrate sauce. So this buttercream is made with coffee, ungrate sauce and butter biscuit. Now cool it to room temperature so that the butter is not melting when I add it later. Add about one third first and whip. Add the rest and continue whipping until it looks fluffy and contains more airs. Okay, it's done. Set it aside. To make ganache, melt chocolate. And I also like to heat heavy cream until it feels slightly warm so that they blend easier. Add about one quarter of heavy cream and mix. Once it's blended evenly, add more and repeat this until you add all the heavy cream. I divide it into four times this time. Now this is too soft to spread on the sponge, but as it cools down, it'll soon get firmer in room temperature. So mix sometimes and check the consistency. Now mix melted chocolate and oil together and spread thinly on one of the sponge layers. And this layer is going to be the very bottom of the cake. That chocolate layer helps transferring the cake a lot easier since the sponge soaks up a lot of coffee syrup today. When you see lots of syrup on the surface, cut the surface like this with a knife. The liquid goes in deeper immediately and you can apply more syrup. Now this is a lot of syrup with no doubt, but for opera cake it works so well, so don't be afraid of soaking too much. And spread ganache. The consistency is great, not too soft and not too firm. If it gets too firm to spread, simply heat it up just a little bit to make it softer again. And here I made a mistake. The baked side should be facing down because that side is protected by the baked skin and it doesn't soak up the syrup well. The lighter side can soak up the syrup a lot more.
Today I used the pastry tip to pipe the buttercream. It's just a little bit easier, but it's totally optional. Now set it aside in the fridge until the ganache and buttercream set completely. I let it rest overnight this time so that the coffee syrup spreads all over the sponge evenly. Let's get started again. To make the chocolate glaze, melt chocolate and add oil. Mix gently so that it doesn't contain a lot of air bubbles. And check the temperature. When it feels slightly warm, pour on a cake right away. The cake should be taken out from a fridge right before and still very cold. The combinations of the temperatures are very important. So for example, when the cake is freezing cold, you need to use warmer grays. Once the chocolate gets to the temperature, pour it right away before it cools down too much. Right after you pour it, spread thinly with a spatula and do it quick before the chocolate starts getting hurt. Go back and forth. And the chocolate starts getting hard in just a moment. You can also use my chocolate mirror grades recipe if you want more shiny grays, but this is more classic way. As option, draw on top with melted chocolate or the extra grays that dropped on the tray.
I recommend to leave it for about 10 minutes or more in room temperature before you eat it. It feels more soft and melty in your mouth. It's called a king of chocolate for a reason. It's so rich, flavorful, and the luxury is concentrated in one bite. That's it for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this video, please let me know and subscribe for more videos all about beautiful and delicious pastries from scratch. Enjoy pastry living and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.